Hi, my lovely people. My name is Akua. I welcome you to my channel. I am an oracle of God and I speak the mind of God as the Lord laid it upon my heart. I believe the Lord has a word for someone and um, the Lord is always speaking. By your inability to hear him, make us live in total darkness. So you see, to hear God, you need to be in the realm of God. And the Lord never leaves us nor forsakes us. Bible says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. So today we are running to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, someone. This word may not be for everyone. But I'm here to do the bidding of the Lord. I woke up this morning and the Lord, I heard the word so strong. It says, why sit here till we die? And I said, I've heard this word somewhere before. So I picked up my Bible, started going through it. And bam, I landed on 2 Kings chapter 7. And the Lord said, go tell my people what I am saying. So I'm just here to do the bidding of the Lord. When you read the book of 2 Kings chapter 7, it speaks about a bold movement of four lepers these people were outcast leprosy was and still a contagious disease so these people never live among society they are always at the outskirts or at the gates begging in fact for them to be among other people 10 meters to get into anybody who does not have this leprosy you must shout and say unclean 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 so that they know that a contagious person who is carrying a deadly disease is passing by. Now, these four lepers have been renegated to the background. But in the palace, there was something going on also. This whole city was experiencing what we called a besiege by another country, a Syrian army, of course. No one could go in, no one could come out. So the economy was crumbling. Does it sound familiar to you? This is 2021. The whole world is experiencing coronavirus. People are losing their jobs. Business are collapsing. People don't know, know whether to travel or not. The next minute you hear someone you love so dearly suffering from coronavirus, others are on life support. The whole world is in chaos. There is no hope anywhere. It was so bad that women were killing their own children and eating them you say gross yes cannibalism was the order of the day for a woman to carry a son or a daughter for nine months give birth to the, this child ended up boiling the child to eat because there was no food that was bad so the prophet elisha gave a word that tomorrow by this time God was going to make a provision. There's going to be abundance of food. That was the word from God directly. There was a certain man in the palace who was a right-hand man of the king. Very influential. Very important in the administration of this nation. And he said, if God decides to open the heavens or windows of heaven, is it possible that this situation can be turned around? The prophet made a statement that you surely see it happened, but you will not taste of it. Hmm. May we never be people without faith. Because without faith, no one can see God. I may not know what you are going through, but God has a reason for everything that happens. You may have lost your job. God has a reason for that. You may have lost a very great opportunity, probably a business deal. But God has a way to turn things around. Anytime a prophetic word is released, there is always people who are, the word is looking around for them to act it out. So this time when the word of God was released, that tomorrow by this time, there will be abundance of food. That word set out to look for players to make sure that that word come to pass. Now this prophetic word landed on four lepers. Remember we spoke about them? These are outcasts. They are nuisance to the society. No one cares about them. But when the prophetic word was released, it was searching for these people. And look what they said from chapter 7 and verse 3. It says, And there were four leprous men at the entering of the city gate. And they said one to another, 
Why sit we here till we die? The easiest thing to do is to throw in the towel. It is the easiest thing to do. To give up, nah. You just have to decide that it is over and you throw in the towel. These four people had nothing to lose. They are sick. There is no healing for them. They have been rejected and dejected and, sitting at the en- and they are sitting at the entrance of the gate, probably begging. And the people they beg from, they have no help to them because they are also suffering. If they go to the city, hunger will surely kill them. If they stay where they are, hunger will deal with them. So they devise a plan. Let's go to the camp of the enemy. If they welcome us, we'll have something to eat. But if they decide to kill us, remember we have no other option but to die. So they set out into the camp of the enemy. Now listen to what happened when they got there. And this starts from five. They rose up in the twilight to go unto the camp of Syrians. And when they were come to the outermost part of the camp of the Syrian, behold, there was no man there. For the Lord had made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses, even the noise of a great host. And they said to one another, Lo, the king of Israel had hired against us the king of the Hittites and the kings of the Egyptians to come upon us. These steps of faith that these four leprous men decide to take, God magnified their steps that by the time they got to the camp, no one was there. Because the enemy heard the footsteps of this leprous man as a host of an army that has been hired to come against them. They fled and left all their goodies at the war camp. Who goes to war with gold? Who goes to war with expensive apparels? But the enemies did. The Lord said I should tell someone. The good things of your family that has been hijacked by the enemy. This month of September, it will be released. But before then, take the step of faith. Take God as it word. That he will never leave nor forsake you. And so, these circumstances that you find yourself, it is not meant to kill you. When you take a step of faith, the Lord will magnify it and victory shall be yours. A great man of God once said, it seems as if God does nothing but answer prayers. So instead of throwing in the towel, I want you to go over your needs and recommit your life into his hand. That situation, bring it before God. He is capable to make all grace available to them that believed and are called according to his purpose. The loss of this issue will not bring you shame. He will lift you up and place you where you belong because his hand is not against you but for you. The only time I encountered God myself was when I was in a situation that there was no hope. And so I started fasting. I wanted to fast for 20 days. I extended it to 40 days and I extended it to 70 days. When I was almost done with my 70th day, I heard a voice so loud and clear. He said, out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. My life has never been the same since the day I heard this word. So instead of wallowing in self-pity, buckle up and take this storm by hand. You know, the eagle does not wait for the storm to pass before they fly. The Bible says they soar with the wind. The storm it's a transportational avenue for the eagle because they are built up for it. If you want to see the hand of God at work in your life, you must be able to embrace the storm because in your comfort zone, you will not see the hand of God. But God will make you go through the waters, go through the mountains, go through the turbulence. He's always with you. You will come out stronger than before. It is well with you. I want you to know that God is about to magnify your step of faith. So whatever is telling you that it is not possible, I want you to look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself, you are well capable. 
to do this because you are built for everything. The Lord is your shield and your shelter. No harm shall come upon you. In this season of coronavirus, may the Lord make his face to shine upon you. May you be exempted from sudden death. You are blessed in Jesus' name. My name is Akua. It's been an amazing time with you and I pray that God will be merciful to you. I hope this word has been a blessing to you. Share this, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and always join us. I'm always online from Monday to Friday to pray with you. So put up your notification bell that anytime I am online, you'll be able to know and you join and join me in prayer. Have a very beautiful day and remember it is not over until Jesus says so. Shalom. Peace unto you.